Hey everyone, this is DHTV and today I have a very simple and quick tip that's going to show you how to turn your favorite websites into mobile apps that you can access on your iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. Let's get started. All right, now as you can see here, I've got three applications which I've created and pulled up from websites as well as Google searches, and I turned them into apps that I can access really quickly on my iPhone. Now before I show you how to do this, let me just explain them to you. First, I've got Amazon Canada. Second, I've got my how-to video YouTube channel. And third, I've got a quick Google search for today's news. Now the way it works is I've created these apps and when I tap on them, it's just straight gonna take me to those application websites. So that was Amazon Canada. We've got my YouTube channel right there and it'll pull it up right away. And then finally, we've got a Google search here. Now this is gonna be really useful for people who use bookmarks a lot because this is gonna give you the ability to access all your favorite websites super quick by creating little apps for them. Now the way you do this is you just open up Safari. You then wanna to go to the website you wanna save as an application, this one here being the YouTube mobile app. Then we wanna click on the icon here at the bottom. Once the box opens up, you wanna actually tap on add to home screen here. Now a box is gonna appear and this is gonna give you the ability to name the app whatever you want. So this one's the YouTube mobile, so I'm just gonna call it YouTube and I'm gonna put the letter M here so I know it's the mobile YouTube app. And then you wanna tap add at the top. Then it'll automatically place the app on your home screen here. I'm just gonna move it to the other page. Now traditionally, you won't get this actual app icon. You're gonna get more like these ones here where it just shows you what you've last looked at from your page. So you can see my uh, Dan's How To Videos app here. Um, you can see sort of the banner, but if I tap on it, and uh, let's just scroll down a little bit. We'll scroll all the way down here. And then if I go back to my home screen, you'll actually see it's changed here to the loading screen because that's what it remembers last. So that's pretty much how you create the apps. Now you don't have to keep them all over the place like this. You can actually put them in folders just like you would any other application just by dragging and uh, placing them into the folder. That way you don't have those ugly apps because they are pretty ugly aside from this YouTube mobile app. And uh, you could do this with Facebook if you wanna use the Facebook mobile app or if you want to use the Twitter mobile you can do this with that uh, it's a great way especially if you are running an older device um, and you can no longer download the applications this might help you out and give you a little bit more life before you have to upgrade anyway guys I hope you found this helpful and enjoyable if you did remember let me know in the comments down below also subscribe for more videos like this one hit the like button as it helps me out a lot and it lets me know you guys like what I am showing you anyway thanks for watching I will see you in the next one